Hey guys, I'm back to show the next part of the game that I've made. Let me run along this corridor and enter the next room. I'm gonna be honest, this next room was a lot more work than I anticipated. That's because everything there is new. I wasn't able to reuse any of the assets, almost any of the assets that I created previously. But yeah, so let's enter this portal and see where it will take us. <laughs> Okay, I hope you enjoyed that little transition. I thought it'd be cool if instead of just teleporting you, you could kind of see what maybe traveling through those portals looked like or felt like. So I made this kaleidoscope post-process effect that I think I'm going to use on the TC highway as well. So yeah, let's go ahead and start this party. Okay, let's run around the room and see what we can find. We have these teens dancing around over here. I've decided to add in bottles that allegedly contain alcohol because I'm Polish. I even made the bottles be physics objects just, just for fun, just like a little detail. We have a lonely teensy dancing over here. He's a bit of a shy guy. But aside from that, there are these different groups of teensies dancing here and over here. Here we have two teensies that we're trying to get back home, but well, they've had it a little too much. So for the three kids that watch these videos, here's a little lesson for you. Drink responsibly or this might be you one day. In the original game, there used to be this platform over here that helped you access a secret. I always found it a little awkward because like this whole room is so symmetrical and then this one pillar has this kind of sticking out platform from it. So I decided to make it where you had to use the tr throne to access the secret because since it's already here, I feel like it integrates a little nicer into the level this way. So let's go check it out. And before we go into the secret over there, I want to show you what's over here. Got these two teensies that are arguing, about, arguing really hard about something. Kudos. Okay, let's check out the secret now. And back in the portal. As you can see, I changed this magical light road a little bit. It's not that I didn't like the original design, I liked it a lot, but I just wanted to have a little fun with it, and I thought that I could make it look a little bit like those, uh, you know, those waveforms that kind of display the audio. So. This way I felt like maybe it integrated a little nicer into the whole like musical vibe of this part of the game. Okay, I think this is a good time to fly around with the camera now so you can get a bit of a closer look at everything.
Now I would like to show the Rayman skins that I've gotten so far. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can check out this video that popped up in the corner. But TLDR, I'm taking skin submissions from the community. Anyway, I'm gonna show the skins in the order that they have been sent my way. Okay, so first we have Scepter of Leptis Rayman from Unheard Voices. If you don't know, Unheard Voices is the creator of the Rayman Alive event. And also he has his own Rayman fan project, Rayman Scepter of Leptis. So he was kind enough to send his model my way to be used as a skin in my project. Thank you so much, the model is really awesome. Then we have Rayman 1 Batilla from Malamort Model Maker. Also a very awesome model, thank you very much. It's a really cool idea. And then we have Urban Rayman by Laxby. Just as awesome as the previous two. As you can see, he's rocking a cool jacket and a t-shirt underneath. So again, thank you very much. I love them all. Alright, that's all I have for today. In the next project update video, I'll probably show the TNC Highway. Thank you again for all your awesome submissions and see you next time. Bye-bye.